Hey, what's up everyone? In today's project, I'm going to show you how to use another API. Recently, we have used the joke API to get a single choke and display it using uh, this OLED display. In this project, we're going to use another one and it is called the Open Weather Map API, which allows you to get your current weather state. And there are so many services that you can pick up, like the Road Risk API. Today, we will focus on the first one that returns the current weather data and we are going to display it using this LCD display. Of course, you're going to need an ESP32 microcontroller that has a Wi-Fi capability to send the request. We need to connect our ESP32 microcontroller to the internet through the router using an SID and password. Then we can send the HTTP request using a URL. Also, you have to pass in a few information with this URL, like your location. Then we'll get a JSON format that contains the information about the weather state from the Open Weather Map API. Anyways, let's go back to the website. By the way, you can download the project files from the link under the video description by going to code and download it as a zip file. You will find the circuit schematic as well as the sketch that is responsible for sending this request. But first of all, let's understand how this API works. Let's open up the documentation. As you can see, we have the URL that we have talked about and you will need to add few parameters like the latitude and the longitude, which is your location credentials. To get these two values, we can open up Google Maps and select the location that we want, like India. When you right click with the mouse, we have these two values, which are the latitude and the longitude. I'm going to copy them and let's open up a text editor. And the second value is the longitude that we're going to use. Some APIs require some sort of key that we need to put in this link so that we can use this service. But don't worry, it is free. You only have to log in using an email and password. Then let's select my API keys. And here it is. Let's copy it and paste it right here so that we can use it in our code. But before that, I want to test the API using a web browser like Microsoft Edge. Let's get back to the documentation and copy the URL using Ctrl-C and open up a new tab. As I said, we have to provide it with the API key. Next, we have the latitude, which is this value. Make sure to replace it with this parameter. And finally, the longitude. Now, if we enter this URL, and there you go, we have a JSON format that contains few information about the weather in India like the description, so we have few clouds. There are other measurements like the temperature, as well as the uh, humidity and the pressure. Now that we know how this API works, let's check out the circuit schematic diagram. As I said, I'm going to use the LCD display that comes with the I2C module. We're going to use it to display the information that we want, like the description of the weather, as well as the temperature and the humidity. First, you have to connect the GND to the GND and the VCC to the 5 volt pin to power up the module. Then we have two more pins. The SDA gets connected to the SDA of the board and it is the GPIO pin number 21. The SEL goes to the SEL like this. And if you don't know how to use this display, I'm going to add a link under the video description that shows you how to use it in depth. I've already connected the pins using female to female jumper wires. And let's open up the sketch. On top, we have the libraries that we need like the Wi-Fi library, the HTTP client to send the request. These two are built in, you don't have to install them. And the last two libraries are not built in. You have to go to the library manager and search for the Arduino JSON library, which allows us to extract the information that we need from the JSON format. Just write the name Arduino JSON like that. And here it is. We've already installed it in our previous video. And the second library is Liquid Crystal I2C. Make sure to search for the same name, Liquid Crystal I2C, and it is this one by Frank. You could also use the OLED display, which allows you to print the information that you need. For me, I've created this object, which is the LCD, that takes in three parameters. The first one is the address of the I2C module. This could be 0x3f or 0x27. If the first one doesn't work, make sure to change it to the second address. Then we have the size. I have 16 columns and two rows. Next, I'm going to put the SID and the password of the router. Then we have the URL that we have just copied. 
I decided to separate the other parameters so that you can change them very easily, like the API key. I'm gonna copy my own. And finally, we have the location credentials. I'm gonna use these two values, which is the location of India. And that's pretty much it. The rest of the code is connecting the ESP32 microcontroller to the network using the SID and password. Then we have the HTTP client object to send the request using the URL and the parameters that we have declared on top, like the API key. Next, we use HTTP.get to start the connection between the ESP32 microcontroller, which is the client, and the Open Weather Map API, which is the server side. This method returns a code. If it's a number that is greater than zero, that means everything is fine. And we can get the JSON format using HTTP.getString. And to retrieve the description, we use obg, and in these square brackets, we have to provide it with a path. We need to get the value of the weather key, which is an array of elements. That's why we have to add zero. And finally, we pass in the description. The same thing applies for the other informations like the temperature as well as the humidity. Last but not least, we use the LCD object to display the description as well as the temperature and the humidity in Celsius and in percent. If something went wrong, we are going to print the message can't get data and we are updating the weather state each 30 seconds. If you want to get the updates each minute, make sure to change this to 60. And that's pretty much it. That's how we can use all kinds of APIs. You simply have to know the URL as well as the parameters that it needs. Now we can select the board and the port of the USB cable, which is COM11. I have a Note MCU32S board. Let's hit OK and upload. And once it's done compiling, we have to hold down the boot key so that we can start uploading the sketch. And there you go. These are the weather information in India. We have few clouds and the temperature is 38 uh, Celsius. The humidity is 16%. I think that's all for this video. If you have any question or comments, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That helps me a lot. And I will see you in the next one.